A very good evening, Tim Zimbabwe, and welcome to Africa and Beyond Television Network. And this evening, we are taking a look on what is happening in Africa. President Emerson Dambuzumnanga was ally, the president of the Republic of Congo, survived death by a whisker when a coup attempt happened this morning. So, this is Sunday, 19th May 2024, and there was an attempted coup in the D Democratic Republic of Congo. So, as per the reports, the insurgents in Kinshasa, Congo, didn't have uh, rockets, they didn't have RPGs, and um, they had small rifles. And um, they had no drones, as um, uh, reported. But um, what is known is that they managed to penetrate in Gombe and overtook the presidential uh, palace. That is what it happened. Uh, the SLNs were allegedly sent by a wealthy man who is known as Christian Malanga from Congo Central, who lives in the US. And um, they obviously did not have um, a clue or didn't understand the kind of operation they were uh, actually having as a coup d'etat. And um, if you take a look on uh, their military objective, it seems as if, uh, number one, they were not well equipped. Number two, they were not well connected. Number three, they were lone rangers. And uh, also, in terms of strategy, they didn't have a clear strategy because they stormed the presidential palace and um, they found no one in that uh, uh, presidential palace. So according to the reports, their first objective was uh, Khmer, and they failed to actually take him out. And then they went to the uh, to the presidential palace. So a lot of them then got neutralized, and uh, this operation lasted around 2.5 hours. And um, so a lot has been said after this activity happened or surfaced online. And, um, you know, as usual, there is competition in the National Assembly and uh, nobody knows who actually planned this hit. So the major question will be, who is actually behind this? Is it that um, there is something else? But this is an opposition leader in Congo. And I uh, was actually leading a political party, I think, formed in 2011. And um, this is a military, uh, this is a quarter of a military company who made their way to the most respected residential area uh, in Congo, downtown Kinshasa area, with several key government institutions of the DRC, including the, uh, the presidential palace, the central bank uh, of Congo, and um, various ministries and media organizations, as well as diplomatic representations. So this is what happened. And um, part of them, the uh, people from the Congo, part of them, they are people from the Congo, as you can see right here in the videos right here. Uh, part of them are people from the Congo. Uh, from other countries, or they, they have just a few of them from uh, other countries. So this is what happened. It said that um, this, these are young people, and I believe that uh, these are not trained people. It seems as if these are people who just got or who just taken from the streets into a given camouflage. So or they look like they are just militias who were actually picked from a certain place or from a particular place. So in Anza in Africa, things have not changed. The only classic coups were led by capturing national TV, radio, and uh, objectively didn't uh, achieve anything by entering uh, empty um, presidential palaces. So these are just thugs who are simply working as yet men in frenzy. So I agree with this one because if you take a look on what really happened and what really transpired there, it seems as if there was no strategy. It seems as if uh, they were not actually prepared for what they were getting into or they didn't understand uh, the kind of thing they were actually embarking on. And I agree with uh, this view. So the entire head of the Bendy is from the diaspora or located in the diaspora and um, they've been taken out. The part, uh, the, 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 the leader 
who is right here on the screen together with the sun. The, uh, the leader is dead with the red beret and uh, the sun has been captured. These are the two people. Um, the leader here has been, uh, uh, is dead and the sun has been captured. This is what happened today. And I believe that they knew the consequences of their actions. But taking a look on, on, on these photos, you can actually conclude that uh, these are simply uh, non-strategic people. I, I, it, these are not military people. It all these are just thugs in possession of guns. So the usage of mercenaries in DRC is going to another level. President Chike said he recruits from the Eastern Europe and America uh, to fight his own people, and the thugs do the same. The insurgency may have been quoted, but it stripped naked Kinshasa, Kinshasa regime. So uh, honestly, if you take a look on uh, this kind of people, personally, we think that these people could not have been even reached the presidential palace. Just imagine if they were well equipped with machine guns, with um, with with um, RPGs, with um, uh, other uh, blasting uh, uh, materials. You would actually see that um, they would have um, uh, sustained themselves. But it's because they had no uh, equipment. That is the reason why they failed. But what is the effect of this across Africa? This has caused a lot of um, uh, intrigue across Africa, especially to, to the regimes who believe in election rigging, who believe in um, actually um, um, making sure that they, they, they steal elections each and every time. They are actually not happy uh, with, uh, with this development. These are just uh, very, very, very unequipped thugs who made their way to the state house and they caused commotion and controversy everywhere. There is controversy everywhere. There is commotion everywhere. And uh, a lot of people are actually talking about these people who only had uniforms and nothing but uniforms. So it's a sad situation, a sad event, a sad, a sad development there. And um, it shows how the, the, the Congo government is actually not prepared to, in terms of intelligence in terms of getting uh, right information about what will be happening there. So we hope to see uh, a, the intelligence giving uh, information well in time for, for something. So can this happen? Personally, I feel that um, it's difficult for these people to prevail or for these people to actually win when they are not well equipped and when they are not uh, uh, well informed. They just thought of just overtaking and taking over, but they were not ready for what would come after them. So, you know, I believe that they lacked the strategy, they lacked experience, they lacked exposure, and these are some things they've never done uh, from elsewhere. So... But if you take a look on on the other hand or on the other side, um, the there is what is called M23, which is actually disarming the 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 DRC military as well as um as, as the SADC mission, which is actually there. The major question will be, what will happen if the M if the M23 uh, finally comes? To, to 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 the capital is this not just an exposure that if the rebels in kinshasa or in drc just want to take over drc they can easily take it is it the, is is this not just a, a a sign or a warning to the drc regime itself so a lot is happening and um you know there is chaos all over africa and the leaders seems not to care to address those leaders so in zimbabwe there is chaos. I, I, I hear that um, tanks are waging and um, they are actually contemplating dealing with the opposition people who they believe that they are planning some things, which means you would see in Zimbabwe, it's most likely that you see some arrests being made to try and neutralize things which they believe might happen in such a way. So although there's no evidence of that happening in Zimbabwe, but the leaders do not trust the quietness, which is in Zimbabwe. And uh, there is the greatest possibility that, that they will try to arrest some 
key individuals, very influential people, put them neutral, neutralize them. So let us take a look on the general. This is the general of Congo. <laughs> this is um, the 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 uh, general of Congo. Um, let me read this. As things unfold, apparently Christian Malanga had attempted to assassinate Kabila in 2018, and uh, he was allegedly paid $750,000 to carry out the assassination by one governor and uh, the plan was discovered by former DRC head of Intel late General Kayimbi Malanga uh, was allegedly in cows with many people including the famous General John Chivangu who was uh, recently appointed as the commander of the 21st military regiment in DR Congo so yeah this is what is happening this is what is happening. And um, General Kayimbi was allegedly killed by Chikeseda administration in the same way that sent the only one Congolese spy master, Francois Bear, in jail. So the said governor is still around, but he's no longer governor. It's important to omit his name given the dynamics in Congo. Okay. So this is another uh, thing. This is something else. And um, it's interesting to know what is happening there in, in the DRC. But you know, who wait to see how the leaders in DRC are going to beef up their security. I believe that the president of DRC must beef up his own security to avoid such things from happening. So this is what happened. There was an attempted coup in DR Congo. And um, these, um, these um, people actually invaded the presidential palace, but no one was there. So um, it is what it is. We'll continue to watch and see what is going to happen. The major question will be, why is it that they never went to the national television? They never went to the national radio station. Uh, what stopped them from doing so? And that gives us more questions as to whether this was a coup or it was just a display um, or to show that the, the Congolese military is not ready. Even if the president is not at the presidential palace, there must be maximum security. And um, the fact that they, they, they gained uh, entrance with minimum force, it shows that um, they, they, there is no maximum security. However, the reaction came and uh, managed to neutralize them. But it was likely because these people had no weapons um, to rely upon they had literally nothing uh, with them. So it is what it is. We'll continue to watch and see what is going uh, on and what is happening.